Hey, hey guys, Itewat Sami, King of Kangnam, Kangnam Sami, Sri Lanka Sami, coming to you live. I want to talk today about the power uh, cut schedule here in Sri Lanka. How do I survive, uh, you know, working online, um, just, you know, how to, how, to, how to survive this power cut problem uh, using internet, electricity and what have you if you are a digital nomad if you are like me doing online classes now for the most part my classes are in Korea so the time zone difference is not an issue because the power cuts usually happen in the afternoon and my classes in the morning I do have one class that happens just at the beginning of the power cut so I need to be a little bit careful about that uh, and calculate what's going on so how do i do that well the first thing is i go to the power cut website so if everybody can see this is my setup i have my two screens my computer and my setup down there so i'll talk about what i have set up so first i go to the power cut website and then i go down and i check the schedule so today is Saturday or Saturday. So my power cut schedule is happening here at 1.30 until four o'clock. Okay, so that's the first thing I do. And then I check my calendar to see, you know, what classes I have, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, um, what do, how do I survive this is by using this power supply this is an uninterrupted power supply by ProLink it is a 1200 watt device and it's connected to my fiber that's a fiber connection uh, that mouse is for my laptop so it's just I just left it there so the computer and the modem are connected to this power supply the modem is fiber and the monitors and everything are connected to that. So, basically what happens is when the power goes out, the UPS kicks in and it's powering my PC. I ran a test uh, a little while ago, a couple days ago. I didn't realize how strong and how powerful this device was. I thought it was, you know, you have 5, 10, 15 minutes, 20 at the max to save your things and shut it down. So. I did that then I said you know what let's run the system and see how long it lasts and um, I got bored after a little while because I got tired I ran it for over two and a half hours now albeit I did run it low power I turned off the monitors well two monitors I l reduced the power of the PC uh, I didn't run as many apps. I was just doing, you know, the basic um, surfing or whatever. But today what I'm going to do, and I'm going to have you join me, is I'm going, the power is going out in 15 minutes. So I'm going to, uh, and I'm going to follow up and we're going to join when the power goes out so you'll see how that happens and what goes on. And then during, I'm going to run, you know, I'm going to play some games, I'm going to do some surfing, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to uh, drain this device and because again normally we have two power cuts one in the morning or afternoon and one in the evening today we're only having one in the afternoon no, no evening tomorrow no power cut so I can recharge this which takes about six hours to recharge my afternoon coffee uh, but um, yeah so I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna show you guys what I do so just as an aside, I'm going to talk to you about Wi-Fi and how I do it. So my phone has Dialog, which is one of the service providers here. My phone has a data plan. So worst case, I use my phone for my data. I can have a voice call. I can surf YouTube or whatever 24 hours a day. And I have an unlimited plan. Um, well, there's a limit on it, but the way the speed works here in Sri Lanka, I would never reach that amount. Uh, I would have to torrent 
to reach that amount, but I don't. So on, not on my phone. I torrent on my computer. Uh, even even Netflix, I wouldn't reach that level uh, because the the package I have is unlimited Netflix and unlimited meetings. So that's a good thing. Unlimited Netflix, unlimited YouTube, unlimited Facebook, and then the uh, meeting apps like the uh, SMS apps, WhatsApp, uh, Microsoft Meetings, Zoom, Skype, all of those meeting apps, unlimited. Uh, but the speed is a little bit reduced, so I turn down the uh, quality of the video. Then my system has SLT Mobile, SLT, sorry, SLT Telecom, which is Sri Lanka Telecom, not mobile. Sri Lanka Telecom, I purchased the fiber option, which is about 40,000 won uh, a month, about $40, $50 US a month. And that gives me, the package I bought is 25 gigabytes a day, anytime within a 24 hour period at 100 megabits per second. And I tested the speed, it's 100 megabits download, 50 megabits per second upload. Very fast, considering that on dialogue, I only used to get 20 megabits download and four or five upload. So really good quality and stable connection and it's wired. So it's not Wi-Fi. I do have Wi-Fi, so I can still use my phone on that. Now, I'm probably never gonna get over 25 gigabits per second, per, per day, uh, even if I do Netflix all day long because I've reduced the speed on, the quality on Netflix and I don't have that much time to watch TV anyway. Um, so what I do is if I plan on watching, I'll download it at the end of the day because um, I know how much I've used. There's a portal that tells me how much I've used. I've used like eight gigabytes today because I did a little bit of downloading. I have 13 or whatever gigabytes left for the day and it's, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon. So we have about 10 minutes left before the power outage. So I'm going to be here. I'll be back when the power outage occurs so you can see what happens. Thank you once, Sammy. I'm out. Hey guys, so <clears throat> here we are, part two. We're coming up on uh, 1.30 in the afternoon on Saturday, and uh, the power should go out very soon. Um, so the reason why is the government doesn't have the money to buy fuel to pay for uh, the fuel to power the power generation plants. They shut down the only refinery because they didn't have the money to run it. Uh, there's fuel deficits, which means they don't have enough power, so they have to cut the power in different parts of the country. So what they do is um, they um, cut the power for two and a half hours in the afternoon and then two and a half hours in the evening. Today's Saturday, so there's not going to be an evening power cut, but there will be a afternoon one, and we're coming up on that right now. Um, and it's a rolling blackout across the country. And the second reason is, is that there, uh, there's no hydroelectric power right now. Um, what's happening is, sorry about that, I'm using a new gimbal. Um, I gotta figure out how to use it properly for my smartphone, for my um, Fold 2. A Fold 2 won't fit in a regular uh, holder, so I bought this new thing. Um, it's kind of okay. I haven't really used it. I don't know if it's worth the $175 I paid for it, but we'll figure it out. So why you're here is that you're going to follow me with what happens when the power goes out uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing and then I will touch base with you again in about an hour and then in about two hours when the power comes back on, hopefully I've been using my computer the whole time and you'll see that. So again, just to follow up, I've got my modem plugged into the computer. Sorry. I've got the modem and the computer plugged into the UPS, Uninterrupted Power Supply Unit. It's a 1200 watt device. Let me double check. Uh, it is a 
inline interactive device. And according to its website, it has 2000 volts capacity and 200 ohm waves. It's saying it, it, you know, it takes two to four hours to fully charge. Uh, it has four ports in the back where I can connect. I can even connect a, a connection to my computer to monitor the status of the, of the device, which I'm gonna set up. Um, and I have plugged in the modem and the router into the UPS and I've connected the computer and monitors into the UPS. Uh, <clears throat> and the modem and router are fiber connections. So I have a very fast connection. Uh, so we will see what happens shortly. Any minute now, the power will go out and this device will kick in and then it beeps every second to say that it's working. And then what happens is, is that when the battery starts to either overheat or run out of juice, it starts to beep a little bit more, giving you a, like a five minute countdown um, to when it will shut off, either because it's overheating, there's too much power being drawn, or uh, it's running out of power. So last time I ran it, I ran it like I didn't run it full power from my computer uh, till about for about an just under two hours so today I'm gonna run it full blast I'm gonna operate the computer like normal and you will see what's happening so hopefully the power will go out it's now 132 so they're two minutes behind they're usually one to three minutes either early or late so we'll see what happens uh, in just a minute okay so let's come back when the power goes out and I'll show you what's happening Hey guys, so welcome back. Power's gone out. Uh, it was about 25 minutes delayed from what was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen at 1.30. It didn't happen until 1.55. Uh, hopefully that means that it'll only be two hour power cut instead of two and a half hours. So as you can see, look, I've got my computer going. I got the timer going, the computer's working. And here's the power supply. And it makes that beep. So you can see the yellow light is on there. So normally it's green and I am running my computer right now. I'm watching uh, a, a downloaded uh, TV show and I'm doing a little bit of uh, paperwork for my online classes. So let's see how long uh, the power lasts I've got the timer going uh, right now it's been running for about three minutes so we'll see how long uh, the power goes for and I'll report back to you in about an hour or so and we'll see how things are going if you want Sammy I'm out hey hey guys as you can see I've been running for about an hour I've been doing a little bit of house hunting and right now The red light means that it is almost ready to go. So I've been watching a couple of TV shows, doing some surfing for about an hour. So let's see how much longer it's going to last after this. But an hour is a good amount of time for me to just do nothing but you know work on my computer. And even, uh, that's pretty good for me to do a class. Uh, I just have to figure out how to get rid of that beeping noise. There was an online, um, tutorial on how to get rid of the beeping noise but I have to download some software and that's still a little bit confusing because I can't find it and oh no nope, sorry that is my um, screensaver going off so let's uh, come back and see how long it took for the total uh, computer shutdown hey guys and there we go one hour and 10 minutes of power using the computer. 
like hardcore using the computer. So basically, um, I think I could extend that by another half an hour by shutting down one of the screens, shutting down a lot of the stuff and just using it for video calls. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going tomorrow, I'm going to run it uh, for um, just using it for video. And I'll shut off all the LED on the um, computer and turn off uh, the monitor. I just need to have the camera operating and see how that works out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. Hope you guys are all staying well and staying safe. Iti Wan Sammy, King of Kangnam. Kangnam Sammy, Sri Lanka Sammy, saying stay safe and be well, everyone. I'm out.